Hi everyone, on this episode of Cooking with Cricket, I'm going to show you how I make my hash brown casserole. Uh, it's going to be a lot of calories, but generally you don't eat that big of a serving. I used to make this when I worked at a few conventions, and we would have people come up there and order a serving and come back for more. And I even had this young guy that came back and bought a whole tray of it. So you don't really need, but one, two, three, four, four ingredients. And this will be cooked in a preheated 350 degree oven for about an hour. And I'm using a 13 by 9 inch baking dish that I did spray lightly with some uh, nonstick spray. You're going to need a bag of the uh, shredded hash brown potatoes. This is a one pound bag and they are partially thawed. If you forget to thaw them out, just put them in a strainer and run some cold, a little bit of warm water over them, and that'll be fine. And I'm using one stick of melted butter, two cups of sour cream, and two cups of shredded cheddar cheese. And so, let's get started. So, first I'm going to take my one stick of melted butter, add it in my mixing bowl, and then I'm going to take my shredded cheddar cheese it can be sharp or mild I have a couple of packs that I need to use up but first I take one cup and get it everywhere I add that in and then I stir that around so it can start kind of melting in the butter a little bit. Usually I do this on top of the stove. And then I add in my sour cream. Mix that in real good. And then I will add the other cup of cheese. The reason why I do that, because that first part kind of melts it a little bit. But you don't have to do that. You can add the whole two cups in right then. But I'm going to mix it. I'm using the mixture of sharp and mild. You don't have to do that. Mix that in real good. We're going to add some, a little bit of kosher salt to taste. You don't really need that much because of the cheese. And the sour cream is going to give it a good taste anyway. And some black pepper. And then add in your hash browns. You really want to mix this up real good. And then just pour it in your baking dish. And like I say, my oven is preheated to 350 degrees. And this is going to take around 50 minutes to an hour. And when it's done, the top will be all good and crusty and brown. And the middle of it will be just real good and soft and cheesy and just add the best flavor and my kids can't get enough of it they love it but we don't eat this all the time but I'll be back when it's done 
I just took my hash brown casserole out of the oven. I kept saying to cook it in a 350 degree preheated oven, but it's actually 375 degrees. And this cooked for a little over an hour and it gets all good and brown and crusty. And if you see that right there in the middle, that's where I take a taste test of it to see if it's good and soft in the middle. But uh, this is very good. And like I say, we don't eat stuff like this every night. Maybe once every couple of months. And this brown crusty part right here. Part we fight over. That's the part me and my husband fight over. That's our favorite part. But in the middle of it, it'd be real good and cheesy. And has that good sour cream taste to it. So I hope you enjoy, and as my husband says, everybody eats. <laughs> and there's my cornbread dressing that I made to go along with our supper tonight. And I already have a video on that. So I hope you enjoy. <laughs>